Please put your hands together to welcome Jeff Billington and Oliver Townend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. steady. Good morning. Flipping heck. I'm on a bit of a wild one here. She's five years old. She'd never been away from home until yesterday. She gave now, she's, now she's jumped to Olympia. She gave us a bit of excitement. Poop, flipping heck. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm bricking myself. I'm too old to ride these young uns. <coughs> oh, oh, I can feel her heart thumping. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure it's not yours? <laughs> oh, my bum's twitching a bit. <laughs> she's five years old. Uh, she's only been to two training shows. The first time she jumped double clear and the second time she got eliminated. <laughs> She's called Scarlet. I think she's a very good jumper, but as you can see, she's a bit nervous. What's yours, Ollie? Again, he's a five-year-old. He's um, never been to a show in his life. So this is highly exciting. <laughs> he thinks he's won badminton already. He's called Perry. We've got Kevin at home. <laughs> oh. Oh. This, this takes about six steps, and then it has a judder. <laughs> Anyhow. He's, he's by uh, a, a sire called Puissance, which is a very good eventing sire. Um, sired a lot of top, top class event horses, and I think this horse has got hopefully what it takes to, to make it to a high level in eventing. He's got good trot, good walk, good trot, good canter. He's careful. And as you can see, he's got a very, very good brain, bright personality, but very sensible for his age, especially to say that he's, as I've said, never even been to a show, and here we are. Mine's a lot more relaxed than she was yesterday. I even feel like I'm not going to fall off today. Uh, she's a bit cautious of you, like, oh. The first thing with the young horses is to get them going forward. Uh, the show jumping horse, it's all about rhythm and balance. And what we're trying to do is get the back end coming up underneath us and hopefully drop her head a little bit so we've got them in a nice round shape there. So when I get to a fence, her back legs are underneath her and there's something to push off. So we get the best possible jump. Uh, as you've probably saw with Lucinda before, before, we all sort of read out of the same hymn book. It's all about control, keeping your horse between hand and leg. There's only one problem here, I haven't got any legs, I've only got stumps. <laughs> For me, riding is a lot more difficult than most people because as I haven't got any legs, I've just got to balance on the top of the saddle and try and keep my belly in line with the front of the pommel. As you can see here, I'm just having a quiet trot round. All I'm trying to do at the minute is just get him as relaxed as possible. So I'm just sick, sitting in the middle, trying to keep as good a rhythm as I can. So wherever I go and whatever I do, he stays at the same pace. Uh, Jeff's diagonal. Oh my God. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I'm going that way. Can you stay out of my way? Diagonal. I, I'm going diagonal. I'm going from that corner <laughs> to that corner. Well, He's always on the wrong diagonal. Why do you keep going on about these diagonals? What the friggin' hell's up diagonal? I used to teach in a riding school. And it often reminds me of it when I watch Jeff ride. Don't laugh at him. <laughs> come on, come on, girl. Oh, oh. So as you can see, we're just trying to get the horses as relaxed as possible in the environment. Just give him a nice trot round, sitting as still as I can. As I'm trotting round, still thinking about how I'm sat. So whatever he does, I just try and stay in balance with him. Ride as quietly as possible, 
loads of changes of direction, loads of transitions eventually just to try and get into his brain. You can't add pressure to tension, so you've got to get them as relaxed as possible before you start to work them. You quite often see people come out and try and make them perfect immediately, like Jeff is. <laughs> what I'm trying to do at the moment with her, she, is stay on. <laughs> Don't come near me! <laughs> Slippery neck. I was freezing when I came in, I'm boiling now. <laughs> I said what I was trying to do, she's spooking at, I don't know whether it's the people there or the lights or the flowers. I'm trying to get her bending around my inside leg. So what I'm doing there is, I'm coming up a little bit with my inside hand there and just get her coming round there. So instead of spooking away from you lot in the corner, I'm gonna try, now I'm just putting a little bit of left, left leg on, just try and get her coming round the corner, bending round my inside leg there. Because especially when you're jumping indoors, we need to use the whole of the arena. And if you can imagine, there's a lot of kids on 12-2 ponies. You see them, they're swinging on the outside rein to try and keep the, the pony in the corner. And the horses are falling in round there with the shoulder. So they're halfway down the ring before they've got control. And if I'm coming to a fence out of the corner, I want to be able to go right into it, and then I've got as much distance as possible to find my stride coming out of the corner. So that's why I'm just trying to push her into the corner there and just get her bending round the inside leg a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's working well. <laughs> as you can see here, I'm having a canter now. Just ignore Jeff whilst he gets over his issues. I'm just having a whoa, canter whoa. round. As you can see, he's, he's babyish, he's weak in the canter, but we just pick up a nice rhythm and let him just swing along. If he falls out of balance, I put him back where I want him, I put him back in the gear that I want him in, and then the minute he's in that gear, I soften again. As you can see there, he goes disunited, he loses his balance. I don't tell him off, I just correct him and ask again. So you just ask for the same thing very, very consistently, always the same way until it just starts to become second nature to them that whatever pace you put them at, they stay in that pace. I'm on your outside. Ooh. Don't lean in when you're going around the corner, you're not on a motorbike. <laughs> I was trying to knock you off. <laughs> you knock everything else off. <laughs> Ignore him. And whatever you do on one rein, do exactly the same on the other. So back to trot, straight into a good rhythm, sat in the middle of him, knee relaxed, all my waist into my heel. Put your heels down. What? Put your heels down. Who are you talking to? You. And then I'm going to have so a canter. Why put my heels down? I'm trying to make my legs longer. If I point, point my toes down, my legs might get longer. And then I'm going to pop him up into canter this way and as you can see he's, he's a baby like he's not showing you how baby she actually is he's got a great yours the baby mine's a woman it won't do anything i tell it <laughs> it won't go near martin collins now oh my oh. don't know what he's done to it come on oh. come on scarlet good girl come go up and then when i'm martin ready, collins has really upset this mare she won't go anywhere to, near that time back to trot straight into the rhythm. Quick, and now up. I'm gonna start and do a few transitions. <laughs> He's Whoa. done two Olympics, he doesn't need clapping for that. <laughs> it gets worse, he went down the trot poles clear the, the other day and they, all, they nearly gave him a standing ovation. <laughs> He's still aiming for the Rio Olympics, my mate. Sumo wrestling. <laughs> Flipping egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first thing you do is get the young horse going forward. 
And then... Oh, my God. <laughs> and then you lean back to stop. <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> you don't know how lucky you were, then. Flipping heck. Jeff's getting PF and P off mixed up again. So I'm going to do lots of transitions now. Very, very simple. Back to walk. Quietly ask for trot. Straight into trot. If he doesn't answer my legs straight away, I give him a bit of a touch with the spur or whip and just say, hey, come on, listen. And it's all really just being consistent and being come tough on, on yourself. Come on, come on. You see so You're many right. people. right, she's not that bad. You see so many people, don't you? Riding down the road. <laughs> they get back to the yard and you say, did you have a nice ride? Hey, it was wonderful. <laughs> he was delightful. <laughs> They've lost three stone in sweat. You touch and go. It's just like changing channel on the TV. You press channel three. They're too far apart then, Paul. It really upsets me or worries me when Jeff's trotting towards you fast, looking backwards. <laughs> you press channel three, Coronation Street comes up, and it's just like... Don't you start crabbing Coronation Street. I love <laughs> Coronation Street. <laughs> I said to him the other day, what have you done? He said, I've just watched 14 episodes of Coronation Street back to back. 14 episodes. What's All wrong these with horses that? were called after Coronation Street characters. Nothing wrong with that. Sarah, he's, those poles up the top end as well, please. He's, he's got in his yard Haley, Martin. So I'm going to make the transitions really frequent. So I'm working on getting to the point that he's almost waiting for me to tell him what to do next in a very relaxed way. So the minute I ask for walk, oh, he walks. Yes. The minute Took me three I ask hours to get her to do that trots. yesterday. Come on, come on. Good girl, good girl. Oh, my house is a lot better today. I don't know about yours. Yeah, he is. So Again. rhythm, oops. Oh. Rhythm and balance. That's what we're working on. I'll come to the poles around the corner. Try, come on, come on, come on. Try and stay in the center of the pole. And then start to test my brakes. When I want to stop, lean back at the same time that I'm touching on her mouth. And already she's learning the rules. When you watch John Whitaker riding around the Grand Prix at Olympia, he looks like he's doing nothing. He's doing a lot, but he's got his horse so finely tuned that the slightest movement that he makes, the horse responds to him instantly. So if he's jumped to fence and he's getting to the next one too quickly, all he'll do is move his body from there to there, which you can hardly see, but the horse knows that means come back to you. And I'll be able to show you a lot better on my next horse because the next horse that I'm bringing in is my number one horse uppercut. Uh, I'll tell you all about him when I bring him in. I'm just going to keep getting this going down the trotting poles nice and even. Give her a few jumps and then that'll do her. It's all just about getting... Oh, yep. It's all just about getting your horse completely tuned to you. It's, it's not dressage, it's not show sure jumping, it's not eventing, it's just riding horses. It's just getting the horse to do what you want it to do with as little effort as possible on your behalf so that when you ask it to do something, the response is immediate, but it's immediate in a relaxed fashion. So, as I've said, it's just like watching TV and you press the, the, the remote control on the on the TV there and the channel changes immediately. The minute you ask for something, you get a response, but in a relaxed way. 